Welcome to my complete guide to Snapchat. Let's launch the app first. You'd know the app by the yellow, yellow square with a white ghost. When you first launch Snapchat, it will launch straight into the camera mode, as you can see. Top right hand corner, you can see there's a little smiley face. That means it's in selfie mode. Click that once, and then that will go into the forward facing camera. Click it again, back into selfie mode. On the top left, you'll notice the flash is already off. Click it once, clicks the flash on. If you're using so selfie mode with the flash, the screen will go very white, providing excellent coverage for low light. In the middle center, you'll need to see the shutter release button. Simply press it once to take an image. If you're happy with the image, use it. If not, use the cross at the top right hand corner. And if you want to record video, just hold the button down. You'll notice it will start recording. You can see I've got the flash on, so the screen's gone white, and it will record for a maximum of 10 seconds. You need to finish talking before now. And then you'll see there'll be a preview of the video. When it previews the video, when you're getting ready to format it and apply some design, if you just hit the little speaker button in the bottom left hand corner, that'll mute it. At this stage, I don't want this image. Click the cross at the top right hand corner and that image will vanish. Top center, you'll notice there's a little white ghost. If you click that once, that takes you into various settings. In the center, you'll see your yellow ghost QR code. Now this is scannable by other people using Snapchat and they can easily add you. Underneath that you've got the business name or your username. Below that is the abbreviated username and what they call a Snapchat score. Now this score is added to every time you send a snap, receive a snap, win a trophy, more about that later, uh, add new friends. Below that you'll see the three options, added me, add friends, my friends. If you click the added me button you'll notice anybody that's added you since you last checked will be listed there. Go back hit the little arrow. Below that you've got an option to add friends. Now there are several options here you can simply add by username you can add from your uh, to add by username just go in and start typing and you'll notice they'll start appearing. Add from address book, it does exactly what it says on the tin, and you just hit the plus signs to add them. Hit the back arrow to go back. Add by snap code, and you'll see it will now look within your photograph. So if you see a snap code and you want to follow someone, just take a picture of it and you can use that later. And all you do is just tap the image, the ghost will check it, and you can see it's come up with lol there because it's looking at my own. If it's someone you've already added, it will already tell you. Very simple. Add nearby. All you need to do is get the other person who's in the room with you to have, uh, to click on the add nearby and you'll find each other. And then finally you've got an option to share your own username. A great way to build up your friends list. Simply click on share username and then decide where you want to send it. This instance we're going to send it out on Twitter. And just hit post. That's adding friends. You'll notice within the center of my QR code there's a little video. If I click that I can then go in and re-record it. It can be a still or it can be a video. At the top right hand corner again I can share it if I want to. Hit the back button. Top center you'll see there's a little trophy icon. When you click this you'll see there's various trophies. These are just a little bit of fun and are awarded each time you achieve something. So for instance the little fax machine, scan five codes, star, your Snapchat score hit 500, little video camera, the 750 video snaps and so on. Top left you'll see a little question mark. Again, that helps you to scan someone else's code and just give you some instructions on what to do. Top right hand corner is where you'll find all your settings. Here you can change the name, the username, 
date of birth, mobile number, email address and password. There is a, a section for login verification as well if you want to add, add two-step verification. You can turn on or off notification sounds. Here you can also manage additional services such as turning on or off filters and changing friend emojis. More about those later. And finally you can add, uh, check permissions and take permissions away. If you take them away you will lose some functionality within Snapchat. You now have a little bit of security about who can send you snaps and view your story. Only options are everyone or my friends for both settings. And down below, support privacy policy as you would expect, terms of service and licenses, and then some account actions, clear your browsing data, clear conversations, restore any purchases, who you've got blocked, and log it out. To come off this screen, just simply swipe up from the bottom. You'll notice when back in the camera mode, in the bottom right hand corner we've got a purple square and a number. If I click on that, I can see some updates. So breaking this window down, at the top you've got My Story. The three little dots on the right, if I click those, I can see all the snaps that I, I have active over the last 24 hours. Remember, no snap lasts more than 24 hours. On the right of each of those, you'll see a little purple eye and a number. That means ha that's the number of people that have seen that snap. If you want to see who those people were, just click on it. <coughs> I can then go down the list. So at the top, I can see 27 views, and if the, the character next to that is whether they've taken a screenshot. Top right, I can now, if I want to, delete that snap and then next to it I can download the snap to keep it. Going down the list I can see all the people that have viewed. If I want to view it I then just click the little drop down arrow at the top and I can see that snap, that, that snap in action. To come off it just swipe down and that's available for all of the snaps. You'll notice going from the top each one of the snaps is a partial uh, of a circle. So going back in time, I can see which ones are going to be dropping off the 24-hour period. So the bottom one there sent yesterday at 10.29 a.m. at 10.29 today will vanish, and so on. If I want to, I can view my own story just by clicking. If I don't want to watch all the video, just tap the screen once, and it'll flick to the next step. And again, and again and again you'll notice there's a mixture of video and stills if I want to do it at this stage I could st save the whole story so go to the three dots again, and you'll notice there's a little circle with a down arrow. I click that, it will then download that story onto my photos. There you go, that's downloaded. If I want to see updates from people I'm friends with or following, they'll be underneath this section. We'll come back to discover section in a second. So you can see a section here called I Love New York, that is now live and that is normally focused around vents, Mardi Gras, etc. Below that, I can see recent updates that I've yet to view. So if I go down to Matt Young, click him once, I will then get his output of his snap. If I want to come off, I just swipe down. If I want to go back in, just tap Matt Young. If I want to tap through his snaps, just tap the screen once. There you go, Matt now, all finished. I've read all of his snaps and he's seen his Snapchat story. If I go down that list, I can see them all, and then below that is all stories, so I can go back to some stories. Again, just tap on the screen to go through those. As I said, we'll go back to Discover now. 
So get to get to discover is in that centre section. Otherwise, you can just swipe left and you'll get the whole list of channels. These are dedicated channels. These businesses pay a lot of money to have their own channel. To go into a channel, just click it. So here we go for Sky News. And what you can do then is watch little news stories. So there's the introduction, swipe up or swipe across for other options. If I want to share one of those, just hold down on the screen and it'll take a quick snap of that. I can then format it, which we'll cover in a second, and then forward it to whoever I want to send it to. Just click on Amelia and then hit the blue arrow at the bottom to send. And you see at the top it's send in and snap sent. Again, to come out of that, just swipe down. Discover is the far furthest menu on the right. Going back left, I'll come back and again, I'm in the section where I can see my story and recent updates. Swipe right and back to the camera, swipe right and back to messaging. Let's talk about the messaging app. On the top left, you'll notice a little speech bubble. If I click that, I can then search for who I want to chat to and then simply type in as you would with any normal messaging app. At this stage, if I wanted to, I could press the yellow button and just do a video snap or a simple still and apply some design. If I want to go back to the message, just hit the arrow on the bottom left. If I don't want to send that message now, I just swipe to the right and I'm back. Want to check out someone's profile? Just hold your finger on their name and you'll get some options. You can see the blue speech bubbles back, so I can hit that, send the message. I've got the little video camera in the center. If I hit that, I can send them a video message. If I hit the cog, I can then edit their name, make it more personalized, remove them or block them. You'll also notice under the user, you can see their Snapchat score and you can see a little smiley face. More about those now. You'll notice on certain people, there's little characters. Now, if they're on the left at the end of their name, they've physically added them in themselves. If they're on the right, it's because you've achieved something with that person. So let's have a look at those first. If you go back into your little white ghost and back to your settings and go to additional services, manage and friend emojis, you'll see there's a default set of emojis. Two hearts, super BFF, single heart BFF, gold heart besties and so on. Now these are all initiated by having constant snaps with that friend. So for instance, the one at the bottom, little baby is a new friend, appears next to someone is a new friend. So if I now go back to my snaps, there you go. You can see I've got a little crown. Oh, sorry, go back to my conversations. You notice I've got a little smiley face next to Amelia. I've got a little star next to Rachel. Glasses next to Dan, glasses and a smug face next to Ellie. All of those mean something and can be changed by you. If you're in a conversation with someone and you notice that what would normally be the yellow button is a blue button pulsating, that means that you're both in chat at the same time and you can talk live. So there you can see Dan's just hold down on the blue button and now I can see his face. If I do the same, we'll get into a two-way conversation. Whilst in the two-way conversation, keeping your finger on the screen, if you swipe up, you can then change to the forward-facing camera. Swipe down again, you can go to the back-facing camera. Thanks, Dan. Creating a snap. So, as I said before, you've got options of stills or you can do video. At this stage, we're just gonna work with stills. So I'm going to take a quick snap. Remember when taking a still, it's just a, a quick press of the shutter release button at the center. And there we have our image. Now at this stage, that image is fine. But if you're going to be messaging someone, you want to spruce it up slightly. Let's start in the bottom left. In the bottom left, you'll see a little timer which says three. If I click that, I can define how long that image will stay on the screen. Three, three seconds, I think, is a, a good default for a single image click back on the screen. Next to that you'll see a little down arrow. If I click that, that will then download that arrow onto uh, my camera roll. 
next to that is a little square with a plus. If I hit that, it'll add it directly to my story rather than sending it to someone. Don't want to do that yet. Across in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see a little pulsating white arrow. That's if I want to send that to an individual. Click it. Again, I could click into my story and send it there. Alternatively, I can choose one or multiple people to send that to. Go back. And then we've got our formatting buttons. We've got the top middle for all of our little icons. Again, you can scroll up and down those and then go across by category. Choose the one you like. Tap it once. Once that's on the screen, you can then play around with its settings. So, for instance, you can put your finger on it and drag it. If I want to, I can just two fingers on it and just stretch it out to make it larger. Again, I can still move it. If I want to add a second icon, I just hit that same little button at the top, scroll through the available icons, click the one I want, again, pinch and twist. If I want to turn it round, and there we go. So that's adding simple icons and there is a large selection on there that you can use. Next to that is the T and this is a section if I want to add a bit of text. So click it once and you'll notice a text field's come up. Quickly type your message. Again, you can add an emoji within that just using your normal emojis on the phone. So if I click, I can just add it a little heart, there we go. Then hit the done button. Oh, made a mistake, click in and again, and just use the back button to remove it, and done. That text now I can move it up and down. What's really interesting, if you tap the T again, you can then change the format of that, and you'll notice it's moving around to different formats. So there we go. Again, that text, if I hold my finger on it, I can then move it around. Alternatively, you might want to change the colour of the text, so tap it once and you'll notice a little colour wheels come up on the right and I just slide my finger up and down now. And you've got a full range of colours. What you will notice is you're missing black and white. To get black or white, all you need to do is hold on the colour bar. If I want white, I drag up to the top left corner. If I want black, I go down to the bottom right hand corner. Again, white this corner black this corner and every color in between so there we go I'm gonna have it as white and release and hit done and then finally we've got a free text tool the little pencil click that once slide up and down the slider choose the color you want there we go and then just draw on the screen simple once you've created the message, you've got two options. You can use the little square and plus sign at the bottom, and that will send that message straight to your story for everybody to see, or you can use the little arrow on the right just to send that message across. And I'm just going to do a test. There we go. You can see, clicked on Amelia, and now I've got the option to send that. If I want to send to Amelia and my story, I would just tick it, and then just hit send. And that message is gone, which you can see at the top. Let's talk a little bit more about stills. I'm going to take a second image. This time I'm going to double tap on the screen and turn it to face from the front facing camera. Take the image. A feature that not a lot of people realize is there are filters. So if you just swipe to the left on the screen or to the right, you'll notice you can add some little filters. Get through, so nice black and white. A speed setting, I'm actually sat still, so I don't know why it's saying 2.4 kilometers an hour. Temperature, time, and then you'll notice some filters. Filters can be very generic, as this one is, or they can be ones that are geographically run. So you'll be in a city and they may, may have a, a filter set up. Going across, there you go, that was all the options. What a lot of people don't realize is if you keep one finger on the screen, so you've got one filter set and then slide with the other, you can have two different filters on top of each other, such as that. Again, 
once you've added the filters it doesn't stop you from adding in any icons or emojis so at this stage add a little thumbs up grab the icon use two fingers to pinch just make that slightly larger oh. there we go and add it on the end again this time rather than send it someone I'm just going to hit the little box at the bottom with the plus sign and I'm going to send that direct to my story and that's gone onto the story click on the three dots on the right and you'll notice that's gone in there you'll notice because it's just been added you've got the full circle of the image as time counts down parts of that image will vanish as you can see with the others below if I wasn't happy with that at this stage I could go into it and delete it there we go very simple to delete cancel let's talk about live video recording a video is a little bit different so maximum length you can record the video is for 10 seconds and all you need to do is hold your finger onto the shutter release button and you'll notice the red dial as it goes around so holding now set to record we can go in three four five six seven eight nine and ten now video will automatically start playing showing you what you've done if you don't want it you just hit the cross at the top left hand corner and reshoot it remember it's going to keep playing the sound if you're talking or if there's any background noise or music if you want to stop that just hit the little speaker icon in the bottom left hand corner just like with still images again you can still add in your filters so just swipe along the screen to add in the different filters so we're going to go all black and white and no different as before you can free text right on there as you can see if I don't want that you'll notice there's a little back green arrow just hit that and it takes it away don't want a free style draw just hit the little back arrow the top left hand corner and I'm back again hit the text button handy little trick here if you want to add more than one line of text whilst in snapchat click on your home button head to your notes app create a new note press return a few times hold your finger on that blank note hit select all and copy double click your home button go back to your snap and in your text field just hold your finger and paste in those blank fields you'll notice now that free text field is a lot deeper and I can put more text for example line one there is no return on this so you just have to click on the screen with your finger we'll go line two click on the screen with your finger line three again click on the screen with your finger and line 4. Once you're done, hit done. Again, if you select the T button, you can get a different layout. Another handy feature is if you want to change a single word or a single letter to a different colored text, very simple, click on it, click on the word or the line, <coughs> and then just simply select a color using the slider bar. Set the next line, put your finger on, select, third line, select, and fourth line, select. That will also work if you want to use. if you want to just colour a single letter. Once you're happy, just decide who you want to send it to or add it to your story. Since we've been on, you'll notice that a number one's appeared in the bottom right hand corner. If I click that once, 
you'll see some more updates. If I am watching a snap, here's Nick Ellison talking. If I hit down the bottom, you'll see this little word that says chat. I can then send a little test message or a response to that video. When he receives that, you'll see a little tiny snippet of the video and the message I've sent. I won't send it now because it'll confuse Nick. Swipe down to come off the screen. That is my quick and dirty guide to, to Snapchat. If you have any questions or queries, don't hesitate to get in touch. And I'd also be interested to hear any tips or tricks you might have. Thank you.